Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is almost the new year, a new decade of 20. 20. There are going to be so many new people joining the WW community and I can't wait to have you all come over to YouTube and get some great ideas on how you can be successful on the WW plans. As you may or may not know, there are now three plans that WW offers. It's a little more customized to make your weight loss experience better for you. There is the blue plan, the green plan, and the purple plan. If you are new to WW, I have a video that talks in depth about the different plans. And I also have a video on my channel that helps you choose the right plan for you. So I would recommend that you check both of those out. I will link them both down in the description box below. But today's video is going to be 20 tips for 2020 on how to be successful on WW. No matter what plan you select, these tips will help you start your journey successfully, continue to be successful, lose weight, and see the results that you want from WW. So if you want to hear my top 20 tips for 2020 on how to be successful on WW, just keep watching. All right, so let's get started. My number one tip to be successful on WW starts with the basics and that is choosing the right plan for you that's where it all begins that's where your weight loss journey is going to start if you're currently on ww maybe it's time with the new year to look at the plan that you've chosen reevaluate and see if that is the right plan for you so number one tip make sure you pick the right plan and again my video is linked down in the description box where I talk about the different plans and how to select the best plan for you. Make sure that you read all about the plan, the zero point foods, the points of the foods that you can eat that aren't zero points, and make sure that they fit into your lifestyle. This is a lifelong journey. So you wanna make sure that whatever plan you select is one that you're going to be satisfied with and you're going to be able to stick to. Number two, learn the app. This is so incredibly important. If you don't have the app, then make sure that you're getting on the Weight Watchers website and learn that site. Join the Connect community so that you can ask questions and get some great ideas, some inspiration. Make sure you check out the recipes tab where you can see some already created pointed recipes for the different plans. You can also create your own recipes under the recipe tab. Make sure you learn the app. Figure out how to calculate foods that don't scan. Learn the scanner. You can go around the grocery store and scan your, to your little heart's content and get the smart points for things. But you can also use the nutritional calculator if all you have on hand is the nutritional information. I do want to say that sometimes, and it's not very often, but sometimes the scanner isn't the most accurate. So if you are questioning what you scanned, is that real? It seems a little too good to be true. It's always smart to go ahead and input the nutritional information into the calculator and see if that gives you the same smart points value. But these are all pieces of the app that you need to learn. You especially need to learn how to track your food in your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, and your snacks. And also take a look at the activity tab. We're gonna talk a little bit about activity a little later, but learn your app, learn the website, learn all of the resources available to you on the app. It is such a comprehensive app. I mean, it gives you food ideas, it tracks your activity, it tracks your weight, it tracks your food. It's really everything that you need to be successful. So take some time and get very, very familiar with the app and the Weight Watchers website. Number three is learn your zero point foods. So once you've selected your plan, you've peeked around on the app a little bit. And I will tell you guys with the app, there are some of the seasoned Weight Watchers that still don't know all of the features that the app has to offer. So whether you're new or not, take a good hard look at the app. And once you've learned that, take a look at the zero point foods that are offered on each of the different colors of plans. So the most zero point foods come as part of the purple plan. You have over 300 zero point foods on that plan, but you are given less daily smart points because the majority of your meals should be built around the zero point foods. And that's the same with whatever plan that you choose. So if you decide to go with the blue plan, you have over 200 zero point foods. And if you decide to go with the green plan, you have 100 zero point foods. And again, that's the plan that's going to give you the most daily smart points. So take a look at the zero point food list. Make sure that you like a lot of the items on that list. List or you're interested in trying the 
items on that list because that is where you're going to build the majority of your meals and snacks around. So it's important that you're extremely familiar with what is on the zero point food list. Number four, pay attention to those emails that come from WW. Sometimes weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, they send out emails with tips and tricks. Oftentimes there's recipes included in those emails. Any changes that are coming up in the near future are also in the emails. So pay attention to those, read them thoroughly and take them in because there's a lot of valuable information that comes out in those emails generated from WW. There are several times that I've read the email and learned something new. So instead of just putting it into your trash can, make sure that you're actually reading through the email and seeing if it's something that's going to help benefit you on your journey. Number five, and this is such an important piece of WW, and that is to think about your why. Why did you join WW? Why do you wanna lose weight? Why are you doing all of the things necessary to make your life healthier? Is it your kids? Is it your mobility, your health? What is your why? First, think about what that why is and be prepared that this why is going to change throughout your journey. It may start as one particular why and it may change once, twice, 10 times. Your why is going to change throughout your journey because we change as people as time goes on, things in our life change and sometimes our whys will change right along with those things. But start out with a solid why as to why you are doing WW. And just be aware that that will change over time or could potentially change over time and that's okay. But get a solid foundation with a solid why when you start the program. Number six, join the community. Here on YouTube, on Facebook, there are several, several fantastic WW related YouTube channels out there for you to join. I am going to list a few of my favorites here on the screen for you. These are all WW channels that put out recipes, grocery hauls, all WW related content that will help you along your journey. These are my favorite channels, the ones that I watch, the ones that I recommend people to watch. They really truly are the heart of the WW community. So check out YouTube. And of course, if you haven't already Ready, make sure you're subscribed to my channel hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload and that way you're not missing out on any WW content my channel is all WW I throw a few fun things in here and there but 95% of my channel is WW related and I always seem to go back to WW even in those fun videos so definitely be part of the YouTube community also there are several Facebook groups that are amazing for your WW journey. I highly recommend that you join my Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. We have almost 12,000 members. It is very supportive, engaging, knowledgeable. People share ideas, share successes, share struggles. It's a great place to go for support, but it's also a great place to go for ideas. So definitely join my Facebook group. It's just a fabulous, supportive place to be. There are several other WW Facebook groups out there. A lot of them are attached to those YouTubers that I put on the screen. So check out Facebook. Also go to Instagram. There's a lot of Instagram accounts that are WW related. You can also follow me here on Instagram. So there's a lot of resources out there. Just join in the WW community. We're here to help you, support you, answer your questions, and just be your overall WW friend. Number seven kind of ties in with number six, and that is get inspiration from others. There are several places that you can do this. In your personal life, if you have a friend that's part of WW with you or a workout buddy, get inspiration from other people around you. Again, this ties back with Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and connect on the WW app. I do wanna caution you on this topic. Inspiration is very different than comparison. So get inspiration from others, use it as your driving force for your journey, but do not ever compare your journey to someone else's. We are all different, our bodies are different, our ages, our body types, our lifestyles, everything is so different that you should never be comparing yourself to another Weight Watcher and wondering why your journey isn't going the same as theirs. Their journey. This is our journey. We make the decisions in our journey and it's going to go the way that our body essentially wants it to go. No matter what we do, sometimes our body is a finicky little thing. So just be cautionary not to compare your journey to someone else's, but yet use their successes as inspiration in your journey. Number eight, scan your heart out. Go to the grocery store and scan some of the foods that you used to eat before WW. And I promise you, you may be shocked and amazed at the points value of some of those staple go-to foods that you had 
prior to joining WW. I remember when I joined and I scanned some of the cereals I ate, holy moly, I was totally taken aback. So use that scanner and the nutrition calculator and first off, scan the foods that you love and see if you're able to work them into your plan. Remember, with WW, we can eat whatever we want to eat as long as it works into our points. We have to watch our portions and sometimes we have to eat a little less of our favorite foods to have the points value work into our day but we can still have those things. Nothing is off limits. And that is one reason why I love WW and why WW is a lifestyle because you never have to not have something that you really want. You just work it into your day. So get to know your scanner, get to know the foods you used to eat point value, but then also find some healthier options, some lower point options with your scanner in the grocery store so that those can become your staples and things that you're putting in your cart every time you grocery shop. So you can still eat your favorite foods, but also I encourage you to find some other items that are a little bit more point friendly that work into your day, maybe a little bit better. You can have a little more, be a little more satiated. So use your scanner and get to know your foods at the grocery store. Number nine, make sure that you have your favorite snacks on hand. So when you're scanning things and you're finding your favorite chip or your favorite cracker, or maybe your favorite sweet treat at the grocery store that works into your points, make sure you have it available. That way you're not tempted to eat things that aren't as great for your plan and things that are higher in points. Make sure that you have the foods that you love on hand so that they're in your pantry, in your cupboard, in your fridge, ready for you to enjoy. This is huge. You have to plan ahead. You have to be prepared. What is that saying? Fail to plan, plan to fail. And that is exactly what's going to happen with you when it comes to snacking and food choices on WW. Make sure you plan ahead and you're prepared. And again, on YouTube, I do grocery hauls every week. There are several other YouTubers that do grocery hauls. That's where you're gonna find inspiration and find maybe some foods that you didn't know were WW friendly that are, and maybe some new ideas and some things that could potentially become your new favorites. But make sure you plan ahead and you're prepared with the food that you have in your house and on hand. Number 10 kind of goes hand in hand with number nine, and that is try new things. Try new WW foods. And a lot of these foods that you've never heard of, you can buy online. Things such as Built Bars, Western Bagels, certain types of protein powders. There's a lot of foods that you can purchase online that are new and different and absolutely WW friendly. One of my other favorites is the fiber gourmet pasta. This pasta is amazing. You can have two ounces of this pasta for only three smart points. And traditional pasta is five to six smart points. So try new things. Order some different foods online that maybe you've never tried. Pick up some foods at your local grocery store that look appetizing and delicious that you've never tried before. Try new things because that's how you find favorites. And of course, you'll see a lot of new things in those grocery hauls here on YouTube that you can add to your next grocery list as well. I do want to let you know that a lot of the online purchased foods are my favorites and you'll see on my channel, I eat them a lot. On, in the description box of this video, there are links and several discount codes for these online foods. So check them out order them. They're my favorites. I promise they're delicious. And it's just a good way to try some new foods that maybe you never even knew existed that are WW friendly. Number 11, and this is a huge, huge one. And this is weigh and measure everything. Everything. Don't put anything in your mouth that isn't weighed and measured. Now the exception to this rule would be the zero point foods. WW says that you do not have to weigh and measure your zero point foods. However, I highly recommend that you are aware of your portion control of the zero point foods because as you know, zero points does not equal zero calories. So make sure that you're at least cognizant of the portion size that you're eating. And maybe for you, you have to weigh and measure those zero point foods in order to make sure that you're not overeating them. You can stunt your weight loss with zero point foods. Although they are healthy options, they still contain calories. So make sure that you are mindful of your portion, but everything else that goes into your mouth, any pointed food, make sure that you are weighing and measuring it. And I highly recommend you invest in a food scale, a good food scale, one that is going to give you accurate measurements that does ounces and grams and even milliliters. So Definitely weigh and measure your food. So incredibly important. Again, nothing should go into your mouth unless it's tracked and weighed and measured. Number 12, once you've weighed your food, measured your food, gotten your serving size, 
track, 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 track it like it's hot, track everything, track everything that goes into your mouth. I even encourage you to track the zero point foods. They are not going to have points, but it's nice to put those items into your tracker so you can see what you're eating. And maybe on a week that you didn't have the weight loss that you were expecting, maybe going back and reviewing your tracker, if that includes those zero point foods, may shed some light on why you didn't lose what you thought that you were going to lose. I even track my fruit. If I have a cup of grapes, I track it. If I have a medium banana, I track it. It is zero point, but everything that goes into my mouth goes into my tracker. And I even track on my splurge day or the day that I use my weeklies. So track it, track everything. It not only is going to help you lose weight, I promise, if you track your food and you track honestly, that's the key, honestly track, you'll see success on the scale. And again, you can go back and use those trackers as guidance on maybe why you didn't lose as much one week or maybe you had a stellar weight loss one week you can go back and see what you ate that week to have that stellar weight loss so track track and track some more number 13 as i mentioned i have a splurge day a cheat day a treat day whatever you want to call it and each week i use my weeklies so i encourage you to use your weeklies some people will spread them out throughout the week and add a few points every day some people like myself take one day a week where we get to go out to dinner or enjoy our favorite adult beverage and that's what we use our weeklies for. But I think using your weeklies is important. WW would not give them to us if they stunted our weight loss. They would not encourage us to have these extra points every week if it meant that we weren't losing weight. If we're not losing weight, their program isn't successful and we won't stick with the program, which means that they're losing money. They're a business, so they want us to be successful just as much as we want to be successful. And I don't think using your weeklies hurts anything. Now, do you have to use all your weeklies? No. Do you even have to use them at all? No. I just think that it helps keep you from feeling deprived. It allows you to have your favorite foods once a week or twice a week or however you decide to distribute at your weeklies. Now, here's where I'll caution you. If you are not seeing a loss on the scale or you're not getting the loss that you'd like to see on the scale, do a trial run and don't use your weeklies for one week or only use a part of your weeklies for one week and see if that makes a difference. Maybe for you, using your weeklies every week doesn't work for your weight loss. But I know that myself and several other YouTubers, other people on WW, people in my workshop, use their weeklies every week and still see success on the scale. So you have to do what's right for your journey. Again, do not compare your journey to someone else's. Do trial and error and see what works for you. But I encourage you to use your weeklies. They're there for us to use them. Number 14, activity. Move more. Can you lose weight on WW without exercise or activity? Absolutely. All you have to do to lose weight is have a calorie deficit. And with the points that were given from WW, it puts us in a calorie deficit. Now, if you want to tone up, lose weight a little bit faster, be a little stronger, feel a little better, I highly recommend having some activity. This can be as simple as going on a walk. There are people that just walk their house to get some steps in. Whatever you have to do to move just a little bit more. Maybe if you have a sedentary job, get up on your breaks and lunches and just walk around. Go outside, walk around the block, walk the office, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Whatever you can do to add a little bit of extra activity into your day. For me, I found an activity that I love and that's jazzercise. Before I discovered jazzercise, I hated the gym. It was so boring. I'd be on the treadmill for five minutes and it felt like 10 hours and I dreaded going and had to literally drag myself there. I enjoy walking, but I have winter. It's cold, it's 20 degrees, it's snowy. So walking outside is out of the question for me. So I discovered jazzercise. I love it. It is an incredible workout. It's something that I enjoy. So for me, I look forward to doing that activity rather than dreading that activity. So move a little bit more and find an activity that you enjoy because not only are you going to do it, but you're going to enjoy it and you're going to do it long term. And thus you'll see further results from that activity on the scale. Number 15 goes right along with activity and moving more. And that's set some mini activity goals. So if you're just starting out with activity, your first goal may be to walk 
half a mile a day, or maybe you'll walk to the mailbox and back. Set a mini activity goal that works for you at your current weight and your current activity level and your current condition. Set a mini goal. And as you go along your journey, change those goals. Set a little bit loftier goal as you get a little bit in better shape. Do things and set goals that will help you stick with activity. Also, if you can have an activity partner or somebody that you depend on for activity, that helps a lot as well. I know for me, my friend and I go to Jazzercise together. So there have been times, I will be honest, that I didn't want to go, but I knew that she was going to be there and I didn't want to let her down. So I went. And honestly, once you start your activity, I enjoy my Jazzercise. It's just sometimes I have to drag myself there. Definitely not as often as when I was doing activity I didn't enjoy, but there are still times. But once I start, I feel good. And that's general. That's typical for activity. Once you get moving, you feel better. And when you're finished, you have a sense of accomplishment and you feel really good about it. So set some mini goals and then work your way up as far as activity is concerned from there. Don't overdo it so that you don't injure yourself. Take it slow. Any extra bit of movement is going to help. Number 16, try at least one new recipe every week. Don't eat the same thing over and over, day after day, week after week. You're going to get bored and you're not going to stick to your plan. You're going to seek out foods that aren't on your plan because you're bored of the foods that you're eating. And in order to combat that, trying a new recipe every week is a fabulous idea. I meal prep every single week. It is posted here on my YouTube channel on Mondays. I meal prep my breakfast, my lunch, and a snack. So every week I'm having a different breakfast, a different lunch, and different snacks. And that really helps me stay on track. Also, I do a lot of different things for dinners. I have a low carb series, an instant pot, air fryer, slow cooker, you name it. I have recipes that come out here on my channel all the time. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed and take my recipes and feel free to use them for yourself. Now, when I do a recipe, I only give the points for the plan that I am on, which is the green plan. But if you're part of my Facebook group, it's right there on the screen for you guys and there is a link down in the description box. My admins will take my recipes and convert them into points for blue and purple as well. So every recipe that I show has all of the different plan points on it on my Facebook group. So definitely join the Facebook group. That's where you're going to get all the information, but just try something new every single week to keep it exciting and fresh. And you'll never get bored on program because again, you can eat whatever you want. As long as you work it into your points, you can take your favorite dishes and make them WW friendly and enjoy them and have something new and delicious all the time. Number 17 meal prep, whether it's just one meal a day, or a week meal prep, you guys. It helps you stay on track. You're not tempted to hit up your local drive through when you've meal prepped your breakfast, your lunch, your dinners, your snacks, whatever you have time to meal prep. It definitely helps you stay on track. Your food is always ready. All you have to do is warm it up and you have a point friendly lunch, dinner, whatever the case may be. Again, I meal prep every week. It is posted on Mondays here on my channel and that has been my saving grace on my journey. I never have to hit up a fast food restaurant because I always have food meal prepped and ready to go. And those of you that know my channel know that I will stop at the gas station and warm my lunch up. I have no shame, no shame. I will stop and use their microwave and warm my lunch up or my breakfast up so that I can stay on track. They never blink an eye. So I just ask if they don't mind if I use their microwave and I throw my food in and I have my meal prep ready with me at all times, whether I'm on the road or not. And being a realtor, I'm not always home. So meal prepping is essential for me because again, I take it with me, I warm it up at the gas station, and I have my point friendly breakfast, lunch, whatever it may be. Also for snacks, it's nice to meal prep a snack that's portable, that you can take with you to work, to your kid's soccer game, whatever the case may be. And hand in hand with meal prep is I highly recommend that you invest in a meal planner. This way you can plan your meals, do your grocery list, have everything at a glance for you to use to do your meal prep or to plan your dinners for the week, whatever you need to do for your journey. There's a fabulous meal planner out there called the Carrie L Meal Planner. It is the one that I have. I love it. It's comprehensive. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. It has weekly plan, menu plan, monthly menu plan. It has a place to track your inventory in your pantry, your fridge, your freezer. You can plan your gatherings. There's notes pages. It's really everything that you need to help plan your meals and stay on track. Carriel is my go-to. 
I have it. I actually just ordered the brand new cover. I'm so excited for 2020. If you're interested in checking out Carriel, the link is in the description box. And I do have a 10% off discount code. It's here on the screen for you. And that will give you 10% off a Carriel meal planner. And that works for the large, the small, and even the digital version. Highly recommend a meal planner. It's a great way to at a glance see what's on your menu and also a way to plan your meals so that you can continue to stay on track. So meal prep and utilize a meal planner. Number 18, recreate those not so healthy recipes into healthy recipes. You can take virtually any recipe, actually any recipe out there and do a few tweaks and modifications and make it WW friendly. I do that every single day. Every time I plan a meal prep, every time I make a dinner, I just find a recipe that looks good to me, and I make the appropriate changes to make it WW friendly. This can be a daunting task for people. So let me and other YouTubers who share their recipes with you do the work for you. Make sure you're on my Facebook group. Make sure you check the description box for all of the recipes. I've already tweaked them to make them WW friendly. But in the event that you find a recipe that you're really interested in making, it's very easy to convert it into a WW friendly recipe. So again, in your app now you've gotten to know your app you know all of the features in the my food section there is a place for you to build a recipe so what you're going to do is plug in all of the ingredients and serving size of your recipe and it's going to pop out a points value for you you can adjust the servings to adjust the points you can adjust the amount of ingredients the type of ingredients for example maybe the recipe calls for a full fat cheese you may sub a light or fat free cheese and see that point value drop i also have a video that walks you through how to use the recipe builder i will link that down below as well check that out it's going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on the recipe builder but again you guys you can eat whatever you want just tweak a few ingredients and maybe the portion size and it'll automatically become ww friendly but still absolutely delicious number 19 stick with it through the good through the bad stick with the program don't give up you guys there are weeks where we're going to do everything right and we are not going to see the results that we very much deserve on the scale our bodies they have a mind of their own and sometimes when we do everything right we might see a gain it's just the way it's going to be everybody has ups and downs in their journey there may be weeks that you completely screw up all week and you have a loss on the scale again our bodies they have a mind of their own unfortunately but as long as in your daily life you are doing what's right eventually you're going to see that results creep up on the scale you're definitely going to see the scale go in the right direction if you're following the program so many people will say this or that program doesn't work it's not going to work if you don't follow it and the same goes with ww follow the program and you're bound to see results on the scale add a little activity and you're going to see some additional results on the scale it's science calorie deficit moving more is going to equal a result on the scale and weight loss so just stick with it through the good the bad use the facebook groups the community to express your concerns ask your questions sometimes maybe you just even want to vent that's what we are here for is to be your support and listen to you when you just want to vent it's totally okay just remember our journey is not going to be just a steady line it is going to be peaks and valleys and that's okay that's life that's this journey just stick with it and i promise you'll see the results that you want on the scale and the last item and probably one of the most important items number 20 is be patient with yourself and give yourself some grace like i said your journey isn't going to be smooth sailing the entire way it's going to throw some curveballs your way it's going to be frustrating it's going to make you mad it's going to put you in tears it's going to make you overjoyed your journey is going to be a lot of ups and downs so be patient with yourself do what you know is right and give yourself grace you guys this is life life happens things happen in our life events come up birthday parties weddings anniversaries where we can't stay on track that is okay give yourself some grace 90 percent of the time you're on track 10 percent of the time you live your life and you're still going to see results on the scale so be patient with yourself give yourself the grace that you need stick with it 
and WW is going to be a complete game changer for you. Your life is only going to get better. You're gonna see loss on the scale. You're gonna become a healthier, stronger individual, and you're gonna get some great friends from the community in the process. So it's a huge win. So that's it, my friends, 20 tips for 2020 as far as WW is concerned. I also want to let you guys know that if you're new and you haven't joined WW, you're kind of on the fence and you're just out here getting all the information on the program before you take the plunge, make sure you're checking out my two videos down below about the new plans and how to choose the right plan for you. And also in my description box is a link for a free month of WW. So if you want to just check it out, whether you're choosing to go online, digital, or you want to attend the workshops, Take the link for a free month, check it out, see if it's the right program for you. And in that return, I also get a free month. So it's a win-win for both of us. So if you're on the fence, go ahead and use the link down in the description box for a free month. See if WW is for you. I have a feeling it will be. And of course, if you guys have any questions as well, leave those down in the comment section for me. And I'm happy to walk you through the process. I am here to support you, give you ideas, and of course, become your new friend. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that I helped give you a little bit of guidance, made your decision a little bit easier on whether or not you wanna be on WW, if you're on there already, what plan you wanna choose. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my 20 tips for 2020. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'd love it if you would join my YouTube friends and family. Hit that little subscribe button and the bell. That way you'll just be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please feel free to leave your comments and questions down below. I would love it if you would thumbs up this video. It helps out my channel tremendously and it shows that you like these kind of tips and tricks videos as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to have you join the WW community. It's the best place to be and I'll see you guys all in my next video.